Good evening again. You are listening to LPJ. Speaker Radio and Mr. and Mrs. Sweet Thing. How are you? Doing fine, and we just want to welcome you tonight, and how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Now, how are you all doing? Fine, I hope. We've had another blessed day, and I tell you, God has been good. He's been good. He's seen us all through this day, and we're here on another night to praise him, raise his name up, thank him, just thank him for everything he's done. I tell you, because this year is just about out of here. Yep. And God has blessed us to see this year just about to go. And I tell you, that's, that's a blessing. Whether you know it or not, it is a blessing. There's plenty of people that have not had the opportunity to see this year leave. Right. And you and I, we have had this opportunity so far to see this year leave out of here. So we, we've been blessed. Yes, we have, and we just truly want to thank you for joining us tonight. The title of the show tonight, again, if you join us for the last two nights, the first night we talked about love, what love is, and love is patient. Second night, love is kind. And the third night, love is not jealous. And tonight, love does not boast. So we got more of this love coming your way. First, we're going to start you out with a scripture, and it's in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 26. Lift up your eyes on high, and see who has created these, who brings out their army by number. He calls them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is lacking. Not one is lacking. Do so you hear that? Almighty God, not one is lacking. Not one is lacking. He calls them all by name. He, talk, all, he does call the stars by name. No. All, he know all of them by name. Now, I, I couldn't even name five of them by name. can even name one. But God can name them all. By name. By name, because he gave them their name. Now, that's a mighty God. I mean, have you ever looked up in the sky to see how many stars there is, and he know every one of them by name? I can't even imagine. I've seen the stars and... And it's a lot of them. The darker you, you know, the less light you have, the more stars you see. Yes. And sometimes when you see the darkest night, you bring out the most beautiful stars. And he know them all by name. Yes, Boy, does. that is a. You know the hairs on your head, too. Uh, every, How many hairs on your head you got? I, I mean, I don't have any, but I mean. <laughs> you got a few. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, man. That is a mighty God. I tell that you, mighty serve. God. That we yes, serve. Is. That is a mighty God. And we I truly, know. you know, just like you said, this year is about gone. The Lord has blessed us. So many things that happen all year long, and we just want to thank the Lord for the last three hours that he is blessing us to again do another show to let the world know about Christ. Yes, yes. To let him know about Christ. You know, it, 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 it's wonderful that we can... Worship. Yes. Free. Free. Freedom. Freedom to worship. Free to worship. That's not going to always be people. No, in some places you write it's not free now. And we're not going to always have the right and freedom to worship. Better do it where you can. That's right. You better do it where you can because it's not going to always be. Better get him now so when that time comes, you can still do it. You can still do it. Right. Do it in your heart. Yes. You heard that right here on LPJ. And that is love, love peace, peace, and joy. joy. Christians 
just driving, trying to make it. And the devil is always busy, trying to destroy and to deceive. Don't you know what God said to his people? To all themselves and pray oh, oh, oh pray oh, and believe that their words will be heard by me oh, oh, oh pray oh, and believe that their words 
fall down crying. No. But, I, but I told you, I told you early on that when God has favored you, people can't look at you and see your mess because favor makes you look like a miracle. Oh, oh can I get a witness? Oh, just because I look like a miracle don't mean I ain't had no mess. It's just that when the hand of God is on you, he covers up your hurt by giving you hope. So he's at the pool. Pulled over. He's damaged up. He's sad. He's sorrowful. He's there by himself at the pool. Then here comes the servant of the text. The Bible says that Jesus saw him. I know a lot of church folk may not like this, but here we go. We've convinced people that you get blessed when you run to Jesus. The truth of the matter is, sometimes Jesus will run to you. There's no way in the text where the man called on Jesus. He ain't called on Jesus. Jesus called on him. Y'all ain't ready for me. I stopped by to tell you, it's some people that when the Lord get ready to bless you, he ain't got time to wait on you to call. He gonna run in and do what he gonna do because he just want to have you blessed. Look at somebody say, I didn't deserve it. I didn't do nothing to get it. He just wanted me. To be blessed. Some of y'all trying to sit there and pretend. You trying to pretend like you fasted 40 days. You trying to pretend like you prayed seven times a day. Spoken tongue, you The devil is a lie. That ain't what happened. You woke up one day and God decided that he was going to do something for you that he didn't do for your sister, your brother. You ought to give God praise that he looked beyond all your faults and blessed you in spite of yourself. Somebody holler, I didn't deserve it. I didn't, I didn't deserve it. I know, I know y'all ain't gonna be this on this down here in Mobile, but coming from Atlanta, just let me go and tell y'all, I didn't deserve it. I don't deserve the cars I drive. I don't, I don't deserve the money I make. I don't deserve it. But I serve a God that gave me what I desired and kept from me what I deserve. If it was, if it was based on my track record, I would have been dead a long time ago. But God decided that he invested too much in me to let the devil have me. And somebody ought to give God a praise that his mercy is sufficient and his grace is still lasting forever. So he's sitting there. He didn't. He didn't see Jesus. Jesus saw him. He ain't saying nothing to Jesus. Jesus said something to him. He wasn't even looking toward Jesus. Jesus was looking toward him. He didn't approach. He approached him just because he wanted him blessed. We move from the approach to this substance before we turn the corner. The Bible says in those next scriptures, it says something that most people miss. It says that he knew that he had been that way a long time. I tell you what I really like about it, Pastor, is that it's one thing for me to get excited over the fact that Jesus approached him. But to know that he knew his condition and walked up on him anyway. Because a lot of times we approach people not knowing their condition. But Jesus knew the man's condition and said, I want a relationship with you in spite of. And that's what I like about God is that he loves me in spite of and not just because of. He walks up on him and then he makes and appeal, and we get ready to go. He says to him, will thou be made whole? Uh, when he says to him, will thou